It's time again for another installment of The Basics, and yes, it's true, I'm back with new episodes. The summer hiatus is over, so everybody stay tuned to this channel and check it out. Now, I want to begin with the Star Trek CCG. Uh, I want to talk about two missions that people either don't use, don't use correctly, or don't really think about in the game, and that is Q's planet and the universal planet. And I'm going to explain how they work and how and when you should use them. So let's get started, shall we? Let me just start off by saying it feels good to be back and producing new episodes for everyone's enjoyment. So, let's get right into this. Starting with the Universal Planet mission. Very simple mission. Class M Planet. The requirements are simple. Landed ship plus either geology or greed as a skill. Any away team may attempt this mission. Any away team that has a small craft, shuttlecraft, landing craft, whatever. Pros and cons with this card. The pros are how easy it is for anyone to attempt this mission and the lack of a lot of requirements. The cons, very low point total at 20 points. And from experience, one of the biggest cons that I've noted with this card is when you seed this and your opponent sees it during the seed phase, you might end up with a lot of nasty dilemmas underneath because it is a simple mission at heart. Also, because you need a small craft, shuttle craft, or landing craft, if that ship gets destroyed before you can attempt the mission, you've pretty much just wasted a lot of time and effort to get your piddly 20 points. As I've always mentioned before, I prefer missions with higher point totals. It might be a bit harder to attain, but at the same time, the object of the game is to score 100 points. I, kn I did know people that would use three or four of these in a deck and it would end up blowing up in their faces. Ugh, it's tough. If you want to use it, go for it, but I would only suggest using one per deck in the seed phase. Don't try to have more than two or three because it's, it's just messy. Q's Planet. There's always been a lot of questions and mystique around this card, so I'm just going to read it briefly. It has a span of zero. Owner inserts anywhere on space line. Each player may place up to three seed cards here from hand, discard pile, or Q's tent. So right off the bat, you have a lot of options. Until solved, an additional 40 points are needed for any player to win. That can be painful. It creates a lot of animosity as well. May also be stacked in Q's tent. That should say stocked. May not be nullified, not duplicatable. Any unique personnel, any away team may attempt mission. The biggest question that I've fielded facing this card is where and when to use it. And a lot of players that I've talked to over the years have used it closer to the end of a game when their opponent's getting frustrated and they want to do a little extra to make it even hard for him to try to pull out a victory in case he's catching up to them. I've done the reverse with this card. I've used it early in a couple games. I've only used this card a few times in gameplay, but I've done it, say, between 6 and 10 turns into the game. And just when you think your opponent is gaining some steam or gaining momentum, you throw this in there, and it just kind of screws up his plan. And when you get to the mid part of the game, it really ruins everything for him. And... It's not so much about where on the space line to put it, because you're going to put it in his path, especially if you're keeping tabs on his range and where he's going. It's more about when to use it. And from experience, I'm suggesting near the beginning of the game. Now, anyone who's watching this episode, if you've done differently and played it at other parts of the game through using your Q's tent, please let me know in the comments. I would love to hear from you. Uh, because everybody will probably have their own take on this card, but I've found success using it near the beginning of the game. Again, the Universal Mission, yeah, you can use it, yeah, it's easy, but low points, more cons, be careful with that. Now, that all being said, the best part of these two cards is the fact that it doesn't matter what affiliation you're playing to use them in a deck. Normally I would prefer the planet mission itself 
to go towards a non-aligned deck because they have smaller craft more apt for landing. But it'll work with any affiliation and any crew. You can stock it in any deck. That's the beauty of it. That's why I like a lot of those missions that any away team can go after. Same goes with the Q's planet. Any deck that utilizes a Q's tent side deck is ideal for this card. You can put it in your draw deck, but you want to get it out quickly. That's the whole point of the card is just throw it down, block your opponent, get it in there, frustrate the hell out of them. Put it in your Q's tent. That's all for this episode, but don't worry. There's more coming.